Hello, we are on the real programming channel. My name is Andre. This is our 22 land lesson. I greet you. We will talk about web page feed and finish then the, the case of relativities and absolutes. Let's go. Planet Robots Inc. faced with the task of developing a website for each of two its company divisions, Planet Robot Hub and Planet Robot Garden, decided to contract with the two firms to get the, the work done. Red Web Design, a seemingly experienced firm, took on the home division's website and proceeded to write the site's internal links using only URLs. After all, they're more complicated, so they must be better. A less experienced, by well called correct web design was tasked with Planet Robots Garden site and used relative paths for links between all the pages within the site. Just above projects uh, near it, compilation Planet Robots called with an urgent message. We have been sued for Tradigmark infringement. So we are changing our domain name to Robots Rust. Our new web server is going to be www.robotsrust.com. Correct web design made a couple of small changes that took all of uh, five minutes and was ready for the suits uh, unveiling at the Robots Rust. Corporate head artists. Red Web Design, on the other hand, worked until 4 a.m. to fix their pages, but uh, luckily completed uh, the work just in time for the unveiling. Uh, however, during a demo at the unveiling, the horror of horror secured as the team uh, leader for Red Web Design demonstrated the site. He clicked on a link uh, that uh, resulted in a uh, 404 page not found error. This place, the CEO of Robots Russ suggested that Web Web Design may want to consider changing their name to Bad Web Design and ask it for Web Design if they were available to consult on fixing the home site. What happened? How did Red Web Design flub things up so badly when all that changed was the name of the web server? Web page feed and fish can you say web uh, carrier you've certainly uh, delivered everything the starbucks ceo has asked for and you now got a high profile website under your belt and in your portfolio but you're not going to stop there you want your website to have that professional a uh, feed and fish uh, that makes good uh, sites integrate ones you're going to see lots of ways to give your sites uh, that extra polish and the rest of this book but let's start here with a way to improve your links improving accessibility by adding a little to your links wouldn't it be nice if there were a way to get more information about the link you're about to click on this is especially important for the visually impaired using screen readers because they often don't uh, want to uh, the entire URL spoken to them. HTTP slash slash three w dot. And yet the links uh, label usually only gives a limited description, like coffee and bus. The uh, element has an attribute called title just for this uh, purpose. Some people are confused by this attribute name because here is an element named title and gas in the head. They have the same name because they are related. It is uh, often suggested that the value of the title attribute be the same as value of the web title element of the web page you are linking to. But that isn't a requirement and often it makes more sense to provide your own more re relevant description in the title attribute. Here is how you add the title attribute the, to the A element. The title element has a value that is a textual description of the page you are linking to. Exercise. Now that we've got a title attribute, let's see how your visitors would make use of it. Different browsers make different use of the title, but many display a tool tip and the changes above uh, to your index.html file and reload the page to see how it works in your browser. The title test drive. For most browsers, the title is displayed as a tooltip when you pass the mouse over a link. Remember that browsers for the visually impaired 
may read the link title load uh, or to a visitor. The title is displayed as a tooltip in most browsers. Just pass your mouse over the link and hold it there a second to see the tooltip. The head first uh, GUID to better links. Here are a few types uh, to keep in mind uh, to future improve the feed and finish of your links. Keep your links uh, label concise. Don't make entire sentences or, or large pieces of the text into links. And generally keep them to a few words. Uh, provide additional information in the title attribute. Keep your link label meaningful. Never use link label like click here or this page. Users tend to scan pages uh, for this link first and then read pages second. So providing meaningful links improves the uh, usability of your page. Test your page by reading just the links on it. Do they make sense or do you need to read uh, the text around them? Avoid placing links uh, right next to each other. Users have trouble distinguish between links that are placed closely together. Exercise. Open your Starbucks index uh, HTML file and add a uh, title to the link to mission HTML with the text uh, read more about Starbucks coffee's important mission. Notice uh, that we didn't make the mission links label as concise as it uh, should be. Shorten the link label to our mission. Check the back of the chapter for answers and uh, test your changes. Great job on the links. I'd really like for people to link directly to the coffee section of the bus site. Is that possible? Link it into a page. So far, whenever you link it to another page, the page loads and your browser does place it from the top. But the SEO is asking you to link into a particular spot in the page, the coffee section. Uh, sound impossible. Come on, this is yet first we got the technology now. Well, we haven't told you everything about the A element yet. Turns out the A element can team up with the ID attribute to take your straight to a specific point in a page. Using the ID attribute to create a, a destination for A. We haven't talked about the ID attribute yet. It's an important attribute with special properties uh, and we'll get into more detail about other special properties of ID letter in the book. For now, think of it as a way of uh, uniquely identify an element. One special property that's uh, elements with IDs uh, get is that you can link to them. Let's see how to use the ID attribute to create a destination in a page for A. Find the location in the page where you'd like to create a landing spot. This can be any text on the page, but often it's just a hidden. Choose an identifier name for the destination, like coffee or summary or bio, and insert an ID attribute into the opening text of the element. Let's give it a try. Say you want to provide a way to link the Chaitia item on the Starbucks page. Here's what it looks like now. And here is a, a snip tip from index.html with the chai hidden and description. And uh, on the two steps above, we get this. Add the ID to the opening tag of the hidden. And we'll give the destination the identifier chai. It's important that your it uh, be unique. That is the chai ID must be the only chai ID in the page. By giving it an, an id ID, you made a destination out of the chai tier. Hidden uh, in the index HTML page. How to link two elements uh, with it? We'll talk about this in the next lesson. And this is our 22 and uh, lesson over. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Please put like, share with friends, comment, 
Eat bananas, chocolate and nuts, drink more water for the effective work of our brains. Bye.